Hey y'all, thought I might shoot just a tiny bit of a little plumbing video today. Um, I've, I broke out my rigid uh, K3 here. It's a, it's a fantastic tool. I think every homeowner should own one. Um, it's a toilet auger is what it is. This blows, blows a plunger completely out of the freaking water for freeing up a stoppage. Um, it's Home Depot. I think it's around 25 bucks or something like that. I'm not positive, uh, but I know it's well worth the expense of uh, what the price is for it. So basically, like I said, I had a stoppage. What you do is you pop your pop your uh, snake out right here, your auger piece. You pull all the way up on the handle, bring in your uh, bring in your snake there all the way up. And what you do is it's got this nice little rubber piece in here, see? And this is what sits in in the toilet that goes into the drain. And uh, this is supposed to prevent getting scratches in your porcelain. Okay. So what I did was I basically popped the dude in there like that. Try to feel around in there, feel where the hole is. <laughs> Maybe I can hit it. Let's see. There it is. So what you do is you just take it and you start augering down with it until it bottoms out. Okay, and as soon as you get down to there, that water is going to rush back into the uh, back in through your drain here, out of your uh, out of your bowl here. And uh, what I suggest doing is going ahead and flushing it again. That way it'll clean it off. Basically what you do is in this position here, you should pull back up on it. Okay. Then you can take it like over to your bucket or whatever, set it down in your bucket and whatnot and take it outside so you don't get it all over, you know, all over the floor or everything. But uh, I suggest using plastic gloves too. But what the deal was, guys, um, I don't know if you can see here, but uh, I had the water shut off. That's another story. Uh, it got hung up on me, and I scratched the heck out of my porcelain here. So what I was going to do, basically, is uh, maybe do like a demonstration of uh, how to clean that up. And my good buddy, uh, Al the Plumber here, old kid 888, turned me on to this barkeeper's friend here. He said use the liquid stuff and let it set up, but I've got this dry. I want to just go ahead and give it a shot with one of these scotch brights I got. But while I was getting ready to shoot this, I was going to turn the water off, uh, flush the toilet, get all the water out of the bowl, and guess what? My valve back here starts leaking. So uh, let me uh, let me get my standoff on it and wrench it out. And uh, I'm going to work on that first. Of course, leaks come before uh, you know uh, cosmetic stuff. So let me get a handle on this, and uh, I'll show you what I got after uh, I get done. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hey, y'all. It's kind of dark back behind here, so. Uh, I actually got this Rayovac uh, uh, lantern here. It's a pretty wicked lantern, man. Uh, I actually got this because of all the storms and crap we've been having here lately, and the power gets knocked out. So, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it back here because it'll fit, it fits back here pretty good. So let me get back here on it. Like I said, we've got the standoffs here. Hopefully, this is all it is. Hopefully, it's just loose. Oh yeah, it's loose. Oh yeah, that's all it was guys. Okay, let me go turn it back on. Okay y'all, I went back down, I got, got my main back turned back on here. Um, I actually, uh, downstairs when I did turn it off, I opened up the lowest, uh, the lowest faucet to bleed some off. So now you're just letting air out here. But uh, anyway, we got our, uh, our standoff on our valve here. And we got the uh, other uh, adjustable wrench here on the uh, packing nut. The packing nut was pretty loose. I was getting some steady drippage. Uh, to me, I don't know about y'all, but every time I go to mess with plumbing, uh, something else is, <laughs> there's like a chain of events, put it that way, when I'm messing with it. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll fix it. Everything will be okay. Um, like I said, we've got the packing nut tight. Um, in this day and age, nobody should be using gate valves anymore. I don't know why I got, this is probably like the last one of my gate valves. I mean, I can take you on a tour of the house, dude. I've got, I've got ball valves on everything in here. Um, this has got to go. So what I guess I'll do is I'll go to Home Depot. I'll get me a quarter turn uh, valve here to go on. And uh, anyway, the point is too on that, even though I did get this tight and I stopped the water from dripping, uh, 
the gate valve here, I had to actually take and put my channel locks on it and wrench the dog mess out of it to get it to stop leaking out of my, out of my tube up here. But, uh, okay, I think we've got that fixed for now. No leaky leaky. So, uh, let's get back to the job in hand. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hey, y'all. Here we go. Ball valve and an indicator to show that this is the main water shutoff. I still have the gate down there. I didn't want to go messing with it. Every time you turn that thing on, on and off, man, you're looking for a world of hurt, especially on your main. Okay? That right there never gets touched anymore. Didn't want to go sweating with it because if I would have messed something up, I'd have been a world of hurt and we'd have been digging down. We'd have been jackhammering some concrete. So this right here is fine. Ball valve. Okay? I've actually got a Watts valve on the back of my washing machine here with braided steel hoses. Here we have ball valve to isolate the water heater. Ball valve. We have ball valve feeding the upstairs hot, the upstairs cold. We have ball valve feeding the uh, the new uh, shower and the new vanity in the new uh, in the new shower down here. Ball valve feeding the outside hose bib. Ball valve feeding the uh, new ice maker line I ran for mom for a new refrigerator. Ball valve for the hose bib out back. Ball valve for the hot and the cold running up to the uh, to the sink up there. Okay, y'all. We're in the downstairs bath here, and this is the type of valve I want to put on upstairs. Can y'all see it? It's like a quarter turn uh, a ball valve. That's what should be on everything now, guys. The gate valve. It's seen its better day. All right, y'all. Let me get after uh, that little clean. Okay, I got y'all. I'm gonna try to get all this water out of the bowl, and basically what this entitles is the old school method, unless you have a uh, unless you have a nice pump like Carl's got. But uh, I don't, so I just uh, take my sponge, got rubber gloves on, of course, take it, sponge it right into the bucket here. It don't take that long. So uh, I'm sure this is really exciting. I'm sure you don't want to watch all this. So let me uh, go ahead and get all this cleaned out, and uh, we'll get right back to you. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, uh, back to what we were going to do this for. Um, I don't know how great y'all can see it. But when I did that snake in with that uh, toilet auger, uh, I scratched uh, the porcelain up pretty good. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scotch bright right here. And I'm going to take some of that uh, bar helper's friend here. They also got it in the liquid. And I'm going to get to scrubbing. So let's wet this down a little bit. Put a little bit of the bar helpers on there okay let's see what we do I like to see how well this works let's start with that big scratch right there oh my goodness look at that guys ow thank you brother thank you you're gonna get me out of the doghouse now look at that rock and roll baby Ain't that something? Guys, look at that! Oh, she was talking about getting a new toilet and everything. I was like, no, nah, hold on, let me uh let me see what I can do. Let me get hold of one of my buddies. I'm here to tell you they're gone. But uh, let me set that in, let, let it sit in there a little bit, and uh, I'm going to do it one more time. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, I gave it one more go uh, good going over here. Um, I think it looks fantastic, man. Uh, dude, I thought the toilet was, uh, you know, I thought uh, the scratches in it were just going to be there forever. Or I was going to have to change toilet. Thank you so here. much, Brother Al. Uh, that's old kid 888. Uh, I gotta say this barkeeper's friend here is uh, definitely Fritz Rochester's friend now. And uh, that with a little uh, elbow grease with the Scotch-Brite, uh, you, uh, you can fix your uh, porcelain, uh, porcelain bowls here if they get scratched. Um, just gotta be careful with that rigid tool. Like I said, I got it hung up in there and I pulled on it and 
and I made a big boo-boo. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I know this really ain't HVAC stuff here, but it is sort of, uh, you know, it's homeowner stuff. It's stuff that uh, we all go through. Everybody gets a stopped up toilet, and, you know, stuff just happens. So, uh, all right, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching and, and, and uh, really uh, leaving me some positive stuff on my, on my videos. I, I thank y'all so much. Okay, y'all. Take care. Just one more tip, guys. If you ever uh, have to use your channies to do a gate valve, make sure you keep your standoffs on. When you turn it back on, you're going to have a leak again. All right, let's fill up the bowl and see how she does. And don't go eight, eight crap trying to turn it back on either. It's flowing good enough right there. Do the old plumber's trick here, just a little paper. See if we got any leaky. Hey, she seems to be dry, guys. No leaky. That will be replaced, though. All right, guys. Let's see what we got here. Look at that clean bowl. Ha, ha, ha. All right, man. Thanks, Al. Thank you, brother. Take care, man.